Yes, sir, you want to see? John, are you early? Is he early? He's so early. I He's so, what time is it? Eight o'clock? What time is it? It's. What time is it now? It's when like, I when I ask you a question, is it nine forty nine? Thank you, Thank Ethan. You. Okay, look, I, I no wanted you to come in not this early, but there's some bad news. And I got good news. Oh, this is you. I got contacts. The council is not looking good, and I think we're gonna have to pull a plug on this whole experiment. Pull a plug? Why? We haven't done anything wrong. John, just yesterday, Chris spent what remained of the entire council budget on musical instruments. These drums are sick. Exactly. And he's making phenomenal musical improvement. What is your point? Tomorrow is the pep rally. This is your last chance to prove that this council is capable of something. And I'm going to check to make sure that the pep rally is ready to go around... Do I have any appointments? You have no appointments. I have, I have no appointments. Nothing? You've never had I've, anything. You can say Am I getting coffee around one o'clock? We, we, we can get coffee. So all right, so 1.30, I will check to make sure that this pep rally is nailed down. I find your lack of faith disturbing. John, your classmates have chosen you <laughs> for the most important job a student could have. They thought you were the right guy. You, you know what? This sounds good. You should write this down. Sure. Um, you, they chose you for the most important job a student could have. And now you have two options. You prove them right, or you lose their trust for good. Forever. For good means. For good means forever. I gotta get a new secretary. See, I can promise you this, Mr. A. I'll make this the best dang nab and pep rally this school's ever seen. And I'll do it before you go. Mr. A's speech has given me the rudest awakening possible. But it made me realize that it's time I put my selfish ideas aside and start serving the people the best I can. All right, gents. This is our last time, our last chance, where we can do something that will benefit the students. We've got a pep rally to plan for. We've got to make the best one this high school has ever seen. So let's stop the blunder and get to government. Any ideas? Can we get llamas? No. Chris, this time we need to be serious. What about alpacas? Seriously, Chris. What's more serious than an alpaca? They're nature's greatest warrior. Regardless of how glorious the alpaca is, I had a few ideas of my own. I was thinking we could bring back the lip syncing competition from two years ago. That's not a bad idea. I was thinking we could also have like a pickup hockey game or mascot time. Something to get the audience into it. Johnny, I think you need to just... Be yourself, you know, these ideas aren't you. But, Caden, we need to be serious though, this is, this is an emergency. John, remember when you told me to be true to yourself? You won by being yourself. I've always listened to you. Are, are you sure about this? John, what could go wrong? You're right. <laughs> what could go wrong? I've come to realize that nothing goes my way. This was supposed to be the year of David O'Sullivan. How is it that John's still president and I can't even get elected? Should I even be in student government? Should I even be in this school? What's my purpose? All right, guys. Let's get to planning. Working to that I stand up for myself and for the people. I've been defending the council from the school, but now I realize that I have to defend the school from the council. So Kenan and Dreesen have overridden all of my new ideas and they're even starting to use some of my some of my original ones. S something's not right. 
You don't think that... John. Pants, you need something? Yeah, I just want to let you know I replaced Mitch as Andreessen's new secretary. Congrats, is, is that it, or...? Yeah, actually, he wanted me to tell you he's at the trailers behind the baseball diamond. Uh, he actually wants to talk to you about your job. Sounds sketchy. Okay. All right, it's my pleasure to be here and welcome you all to this great pet rally. Um, first and foremost, I just want to take a minute to thank the student council. With John distracted, I decided to take matters in my own hands and take control of the pet rally. Sanitary. David! I thought you were in exile! No, John. I was there every step of the way. But not only was I there, I'm still here. And I'm taking the council. David, that's insane! This is an ancient role. You can't just take it by force. Exactly. That's why I've been pulling the strings since I left office. The hardest part of my plan was turning Chris against you. Psst. Chris. Oh. Hey, David. Chris, we need a bad idea to take John out. You go in there and suggest paying a bunch of money for llamas. But that's a terrible idea. Which makes it a good idea. Mr. A said we needed good ideas. Yes, Chris. The bad idea is a good idea. Good idea? But I thought we needed a bad idea. Just push for llamas. When he eventually came to his senses... David! We're friends! Why are you doing this? Because you were an incompetent fool, John. You aren't qualified for this job, and never will be. Whether or not I am qualified, the people have spoken. So is democracy, and they chose me. I may not be the best at my job, but I am the one that people want. People don't know what they want, John. But I'm gonna help them realize that it's me. David, this is not a dictatorship. This is a council made for the students by the students. This is bigger than your false sense of entitlement. John, by the end of this, I'm gonna make sure you're where you belong and I'm where I belong. Welcome to the regime of David O'Sullivan.